Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new Minecraft series. This one a little bit different though. In this series, we are going to be playing the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Over Christmas, my kids have both got Minecraft Bedrock on PlayStation and on Nintendo Switch. So I've been playing quite a bit more of the Bedrock Edition over the Christmas period. This series is going to be done in conjunction with my son and his friend, who happens to also be my godson. So I have set up this world. This is the spawn of the world. We spawned in a biome with lots of terracotta, something I've never actually used before in Minecraft, so that's going to be quite interesting. But while I was setting the server up last night, I decided just to do some initial kind of spawn town stuff just to kind of get some resources gathered and get the ball rolling just to give the boys a bit of a fighting chance. So we've got our little orchard here. If we walk down the path here, I've set up a little wheat farm, as you can see here. And then, as you may have seen just in front of the orchard, I have also created a few animal pens so that I could get some food going for the boys. I also spent some time doing a bit of mining and these two chests are little starter gifts for the boys when they first come onto the world because I thought, you know what, it'd be nice just to give them a gift just to see them on their way and, and help them along their first few days and it just helps them not having to go out and scavenge some food, some beds and some of the initial resources. I think a nice set of iron gear and a few diamonds to boot is a pretty nice starting bounty. Now, although I have spent some time on this world and I have done some setting up for these guys, I'm not actually taking anything that I have found. I'm leaving it all in these community chests here and then what the guys have got over in their chests over there. So I'm gonna start this blind and head out into the wilderness to find a location to set up my base and I'll see if we can catch up with the boys later and see what they are up to once they get onto the world and uh, start maneuvering about and building some stuff. I don't know if the boys will be on at many points when I'm on. This is something I can play late at night because it's winter, the nights are a bit colder and I don't want to spend as much time in my office. I can play this from the comfort of my playroom in my house so there may be occasions where we're playing at the same time as the boys and if we are we'll try and catch up with them and check out their bases and see what is going on but for now though i am really excited to jump into this to go and find a location and start building a base and uh, calling it our home so without further ado let's go all right guys so we're here and the boys have gone off and i think i roughly know where they have started but there is something here from my son. He has left me a chest and uh, <laughs> looks like he wanted to repay this favor with some bits and pieces. Although to be fair, I don't particularly want the golden pick, but uh, shh, don't tell him that. <laughs> it's a lovely gesture from uh, him indeed. So I noticed this earlier on, I went and took a, there was a nether portal remnants over there and I went and took the obsidian i haven't lit the portal over in spawn just yet but uh i noticed this wood in the hillside here so i think at least one of the guys is nestled into this mountain side just here uh, here's some stairs and here is gray muffin himself hey gray muffin is this your base or yours and rockets yeah, it's both of them. So they must be bunking in together, I think, at the minute. Uh, looks like they've been busy. Got quite a nice um, array of things here. Looks like they've got a bit of a mine shaft. Needs down to some. Oh, we got some. We got some zombies here. You want to take care of them, Grey Muffin? Thank you. So very nice indeed. Nice looking place. This is actually near to where I was caving. Wonder if they've come across any of my torches. Oh, we're not going to go that way because there's a skeleton there, and I haven't prepped myself with anything yet. Got his armor stand nicely packed away here in the side of his base. Very nice, very nice. Alright, anyway. Where does... Oh, we, oh, no, that just must be Grey Muffin's base. Well, I thought they were bunking in together, but it seems like this is somebody else's base. This must be Rocket's base. Looks like Rocket's got some sort of greenhouse thing going on. Just in a nice little shack here. And yeah, definitely been busy smelting a lot of stone by the looks of it over here. And... Cows there, that's 
some leather that's potentially going to despawn. I'm just going to yoink that away just so in there just a bed and furnace and crafting table and a chest so so the boys are getting nice and settled into this world kind of leaves me to get settled in myself and to do that i'm gonna have to find somewhere to call home i guess before that we decided to go into the nether for some stupid reason even though i wasn't prepared and it wasn't particularly successful all right guys so we're over here with gray muffin and we are about to light this nether portal um not if you're ready to go not if you're ready you're ready okay let's go welcome to the nether. and there we go that was a, a great start to rocket's nether adventure right there I, I muffin i think you've angered one still good all right oh there's another one after you we stopped looking at enderman Jeez. all right so um where are we going Muffin's the leader. This is a um, shim light, that's it. So, you got striders over here, look. And then we got over here. Got a basalt delta here. Oh, and I am on fire. It's alright, I'm dead. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I don't think going through the basalt delta where all those magma cubes is probably the, right, the best thing to be doing, so rocket the protector of all stuff good i don't oh hello hello Hi. why are we running okay i'm um, i'm i'm getting pummeled oh my goodness what is going on here let's 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 go into this basalt lot here and we'll just regroup a minute where was you are you down there? Okay, I, I think what we should do is we should, uh, yeah, we, we should maybe try this later. <laughs> right, I've put everything apart. I haven't got the diamonds though, I don't know where they are. I've got to go and look for them. But I'm on half a heart. No, I've seen them, I've seen them, I just didn't pick them up. But I'm on half a heart, so I'm just chilling a minute. Oh my god. You'd be no good in a bastion then, will you guys? <laughs> I'm just going out, I'm picking everything up and dumping everything in this chest, so... Just... I don't know what stuff is what. I'm just literally picking stuff up and putting it in the chest. Well, to be fair, I don't think um, I don't think we're doing too well in the Nether. So I think what we should probably do is just head back. But we'll we'll deal with this, and then we're going to make a run for it. All right. All right, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, maybe maybe we should maybe we should hold off the never until everyone's a bit more prepared. All right. Well, that was a bit of an unsuccessful nether trip. So I think we'll. Uh, what are you doing? Put the bed. Put the bed back. These are spawn beds. These are not your beds. If you want to make a red bed, here is some dye. Go and make your bed red. Enjoy. Um, all right, so I'm gonna head off and I'm going to find a little hidey hole somewhere and Do a bit of mining. I, I've already been and checked out your base rocket So um, it's not really a disgusting pyramid of glass at all. It's it, I thought it was a greenhouse um, I was told by muffin. It's not a greenhouse as you can see guys our first trip into the nether didn't go well as a group but I'm sure as we get more and more equipped over time, things will get considerably better and easier. One thing I have noticed about the Bedrock Edition is mobs definitely seem to be a lot more aggressive than they are in the Java version. For instance, the skeletons in Java, they actually pause in between firing at you, but in Bedrock, they just constantly hammer you. And on first impressions, Bedrock definitely seems a much harder version of Minecraft than the Java edition. I mean, the magmas are deadly in those basalt deltas as well. So some things to keep our eye out. Anyway, I thought I would come over to where I have set up my base because I don't want to showcase any of this and I've 
put quite a bit of work into this already, which is kind of bizarre because in my Java series, you would have seen me building this, but with Bedrock, it's gonna work a little bit different. It's gonna be more about like what we've been up to and showing bits of progress updates. So we've got some cows and sheep over there, which I'm gonna do some stuff with. We've got like a basic farm here, some carrots and some sugarcane and wheat over here. And I never portal linking up to spawn. And this is where I decided I was gonna start out my bedrock adventure in this little hobbit hole here. We've just got some little things going on here, but we actually started to go down here and we was digging down here into our mine and right underneath we actually was mining into a mine shaft so i actually built my mine over a mine shaft which is crazy really um but it's fantastic in so many ways i honestly didn't know this was here but so here the other side of this wall we have a zombie spawner so i've turned this into a bit of a zombie farm not sure why there's gunpowder in there i think uh boys may have been here messing about so you've got a zombie farm here and we've just got some little bits and pieces in these chests i actually play over two accounts which is why things like diamonds are, are in chests i tend to when i finish off just put things in a chest so that depending on which account i'm playing on i can pick up the stuff at later but not only have we got a zombie spawner there down here you can probably hear while i was digging out the area and creating the, the farm i noticed that slimes were spawning so this here I don't know the actual coordinates, but this is a slime chunk. So I've just sort of dug out a little area here and occasionally there are slimes that appear in here. Not only have we got a zombie farm, this is a triple spawning farm. So we actually have a spawner here, here and here, which is absolutely mad. So I've just basically applied the same principle to all three of the spawners here, limiting down this gap because spiders in bedrock can actually crawl through a one block high gap. So putting these trap tiles here limits that down and then we just stand here and I've got a Bane of Arthropods sword, so they're really easy to take down. But each of these areas here actually flows down into a uh, hopper, which I need to sort out at some point because this is somebody who's been hammering my stuff. This is already full, so I think the boys have been making quite a bit of use of these farms already, which is good to see because that's what I build it for. Build it for community not just for myself but definitely it's a it's a good place to come for lots of xp early on because there's three different spawners so you can clear out one then you go to the other clear out that then go to the other and then by the time you've cleared out that one they've already started to respawn again at the original one that you started at so i'm really quite pleased with this design as well they've used the staircase upside down here which basically allows the xp orbs to flow through you with solid blocks they don't always come through to you so that's the reason i've used stairs there and as you can see we are quite a lot of string and spider eyes i don't think we're ever going to struggle for that uh, for the rest of the uh, season here but as we go upstairs this is where i have created my little enchanting area it's got four books here and i've just done a little bit of decoration as you can see we've got some books and things going on here if uh, you just want to use some points up and see what you can do so that's what i have been busy doing uh, in and around my base which is taken me quite a while actually it's been a good couple of weeks we've been working on this so far definitely a lot more time and effort still needs to go into this and i think i heard that gray muffin has actually got a new base so let's go and see if we can find it i think it's linked up in the nether so let's head on into the nether and see if we can have a look at muffin's new base okay so we've come out of this nether portal into a this blackstone room and it looks like muffin has been busy here this is like a barn looking shack quite a nice little design got some granite on the top with the acacia stairs and planks and then we've got a variety of stripped logs and planks here giving a nice texture variance on there and it looks like he's got a dog and a cat and some basic tools set up here upstairs Move the armor stands across to know how much he likes his armor stands. And down here, we've got a nice little basement area here. There were some barrels and some chests and another room here. That leads, I guess there's like a quick access there. That's pretty cool. This may be leading to a mine or something. 
Possibly not. He just looks like he's expanding out his base into various directions. So it's good to see that Muffin is keeping busy. And I don't know actually if Rocket has made any improvements to his base. So I think we'll uh, head on over to Rocket's base and see if there's any change over there. But first, it looks like it's going to be night time. So I will have a sleep. And then we will head over to see what Rocket has been up to. Okay, I used to straight out of the nether portal, I can see somebody has built something over here, which is uh, quite interesting indeed. And uh, I've not been to spawn myself for quite a while, so it's quite interesting to see what's happened over here. But we have something over here which looks a bit like a minecart system, maybe. I mean, there's a boat there, so maybe they brought a, a village over here by boat. I'm uh, not really sure about that, but it looks like over here as well we've got some sugar cane that's popped up here and we've got a little lake that wasn't here before. And well, uh, it looks like Rocket is no longer living here. Because the glass is gone. There's a few creeper holes. I've noticed there's a few creeper holes appearing from time to time. There was one outside my base before I started doing this bit. Um, so yeah, somebody's not too good around creepers. And um, so this was a, a little joke we had going because Rocket was claiming to be Lord of the Chickens. And anybody who watches my Java series knows for well, I am the Chicken Lord. So we was having a bit of a, a discussion and he put some of my chickens in there. And I just put a little sign there to have a bit of a joke with him to say to free my people. Okay, we weren't able to find uh, Rocket's house. I'll have to find out where that is. But one thing I want to do uh, before I finish up here today is I've got to go on another exploration. We was out with Grey Muffin the other day and we was looking for a fortress so that we could find some blazes. And unfortunately, Grey Muffin died while we was out on our adventure and it was about 700 blocks or so away from spawn so i'm actually going to try and head out there because i did have some stuff and some wood on me so i was able to actually package up all of his belongings into a chest so the plan here is we're going to try and head out and if we can we're going to go and try and get his stuff back for him which would be a nice little present for him All right, so we've got muffin stuff here. I'm just going to take it all apart from that nether rack. We don't need that much nether rack. So now that we have done that, I'll dump another one of nether rack as well. I'll take the chest because we don't want to waste the chest. Uh, so now that we've done that, we will make our way back. Hopefully there are quite a few guests around here, though, I'll be honest. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get back. We got blasted off the top of here when we uh, came in this direction, but hopefully I can run my way back pretty well as we have only just come from this direction. It was a bit more difficult the first time because we'd been adventuring in the Never for so long and had no real uh, understanding of where we were or where we had to go back to spawn because somebody stupidly didn't make a note of the spawn coordinates, but Hopefully, having just come this direction, it shouldn't be too difficult to make our way back. Mm. Ah, and we are back in the safety of the portals, and we have reclaimed everything despite dying and hey it's rocket how you doing rocket i can't sprint <laughs> oh we got an outpost here interesting you take him out with your bow there rocket i think i've ever been to a villager outpost actually either in bedrock or java 
So this is a new experience for me. Nice. All right, let's take a look inside uh, Rocket's house here, shall we? It's very similar. I think Muffin said, actually, that uh, he wanted a house similar to Rocket's. I think Rocket has sort of helped Muffin along. And he's got a little enchantment table going on here. Got all these gear and things stored over here. And he's got some villagers. Interesting. Got some villagers under the church. Oh yeah, so he's got some little villagers here. He's got a farmer, a cleric, a librarian. He's going for one of each. What's this librarian got? Paling, fire protection. Interesting that Bedrock, it tells you all of their trades before you've... Oh no, probably not. But it does, it tells you like the level four trades, even though he's not a level four librarian. So that's quite interesting. Also, we've got a cleric here. What's the cleric got? Uh, we don't actually know. I think it just tells you the next level. It doesn't actually tell you all the levels. So it'd be interesting to see whether or not the cleric uh, in the future has the uh, enderpearl trade. As it does on Java, I find that very useful. But I think you can get enderpearls from trading with the piglins as well. So um, we can also use that. So how do we get out of here, Rocket? Okay, let's put this chest somewhere where Muffin will notice it, and then we'll put all of his goodies back into here for him. I went to the nether and got your stuff back. Knock. Huzzah! So yeah, that should keep him nice and happy in that respect, I guess. But guys, that is going to be the end for episode one of this Bedrock series. Like I said, it's going to play out very differently from my Java series. It's very much going to be a case of we've been doing this. I'll show you things and hopefully we'll get some adventures in with the boys in the meantime as well. Until the next episode, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I have been Nock. You have been awesome. Bye.